Hello, welcome to Dennis Lee's Forex videos. In today's video, I will be discussing paper trading in MetaTrader. We will be looking at a live demonstration of a paper trading system using MQL4, which is MetaTrader's programming language, and we will evaluate this paper trading system. What is backtesting and forward testing? Backtesting is defined as the process of testing a trading strategy on prior time periods. In other words, backtesting uses historical data. The reliability of the backtesting results is highly dependent on the data. This is because data may differ between different brokers, hence lowering the reliability of the backtesting results. Backtesting is popular because it is relatively efficient, inexpensive, and provides valuable statistics on a trading strategy. It is efficient as several years of data can be tested quickly within hours or minutes to obtain the results. It is inexpensive as no money is required to fund the account and most brokers provide the historical data for free. It is valuable as you can analyze the results of the trading strategy before you use it in your real account. On the flip side, forward testing is defined as the process of applying a trading strategy for the time period forward. In other words, forward testing uses data in the future. This means that as each new price or tick is received from your broker, you will feed this new data to your trading strategy. The reliability of the forward testing results is highly dependent on the proximity of the data to the live market, as well as the execution of the strategy. In other words, the closer the data is to the live market, the higher the reliability of the forward testing results. Forward testing is not as popular because it is a lengthy process, inefficient, and it can be expensive. It is a lengthy process because the time taken to perform a test is directly related to the length of the testing period. For example, one year is required to perform a testing period of one year. It is expensive because to obtain reliable results, you may need to perform the forward testing on a real account. However, you can use a micro or nano account to lower the cost. It is inefficient because to obtain a large data size for analysis requires a long period of time and many problems may occur during the collection of data. Despite the disadvantages of forward testing, performing only back testing on your strategy is not sufficient and it is incomplete. This is because over optimization of parameters during back testing can lead to curve fitting, which leads to unprofitable systems because the results are essentially custom fitted for only that particular data and time period. Hence, forward testing provides a trader with another set of out of sample data on which to evaluate the system, thus reducing the chance of curve fitting. Positive results and good correlation between in-sample and out-of-sample backtesting and forward testing increases the probability that a system will perform well in actual trading. We will discuss out-of-sample data and curve fitting in another video. Next, we will take a look at different approaches to forward testing, also known as paper trading. There are two approaches to paper trading in MetaTrader. The first is the use of a demo account, which is inexpensive as no money is required to fund the account. The second approach is to use a real account, 
which is expensive as you are required to fund the account with your own money. However, you can either use a micro or nano account to lower the funding costs. Below are some negative remarks by traders regarding the use of demo accounts. A third or alternative approach to paper trading is by using MQL4 to write a broker module in MetaTrader. The broker module performs all the functions of a broker transparently. For example, when an expert advisor places a buy trade, it does not know that a paper trade has been placed instead. Similarly, when a trade closes because of its stop loss, the paper account balance is updated to reflect the loss, while the real account balance remains unchanged. Each trade is sent to a local database which records all account details and transactions. Hence, no actual trades are placed with the broker. The EA can be executed on a real account as opposed to a demo account which is inherently closer to the actual market performance. The advantage is that you can use a real account, but without having to fund the account with real money. We will now look at a live demo of the paper trading module. The top window shows an expert advisor running on a Euro USD chart in paper trading mode. The indicator window at the bottom shows the number of trades open. The first column ticket is the ticket number, which is 1. The number starts from 1 as it is in a paper trading mode. The second column open time is the time that this trade open, which is 2012 April 11 at 1.12 am. The next column type is the trade type, which is sell. The next column lots is the volume traded, which is 0 0.1. The next column open price is the price that this trade opened, which is 1.30904. The next column stop loss is the stop loss for this trade, which is 1.30952. The next column, take profit, is the take profit for this trade, which is 1.30804, and so on and so forth. The bottom window is another Euro USD chart with the same expert advisor but in real trading mode. The indicator window at the bottom shows the number of real trades open, as opposed to the previous paper trades. You will also know that this is a real trade as the ticket number is the same as the brokers, which is shown in the terminal below. Finally, on the right you can see an Excel worksheet, which is where all the transactions of the paper trading system are recorded. The number of rows correspond to the number of open trades in MetaTrader. Each column corresponds to a property of the trade as discussed previously. For example, the first column ticket corresponds to the ticket number which is 1. There is a separate worksheet used to record all the account details. For the summary, we will evaluate the paper trading module. Forward testing is an essential part of testing to increase the chance that a trading system is profitable despite its disadvantages. The paper trading module provides a third approach to forward testing in MetaTrader with several advantages. First, it provides an approach that is inherently closer to a real market performance and overcomes the limitations of a demo account. Second, it has the advantages of using a real account 
but without the higher cost associated with it. If you have any feedback and questions regarding this video, you can either send an email or you can leave a comment on my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.